Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jason Matthew. Today we are going to talk about uh, the new uh, 11AX AP that is 9120 from Cisco uh, side. This is the AP coming in uh, Catalyst series uh, from Cisco and uh, this is capable of uh, doing 11AX. This is one of the uh, best access points available from Cisco that is having extra capabilities with uh, RF uh, chip inside and it can do a lot of other stuff than just doing uh, serving the clients and all those things. So we will do one thing. We will quickly go through that uh, data sheet to just see the capabilities. Then uh, we will come back and see the capabilities in a uh, simulated way in Ekahu. So this is the data sheet for uh, 9120. So uh, this is the access point model. Uh, it will look like this and uh, let's see the capabilities. This is the AP uh, having uh, Wi-Fi 6 support, uh, 11AX support. Along with that, it's having a lot of extra capabilities. Then uh, you can see um, the key features here. Then in future, we are going to get the IoT ready, like industrial Wi-Fi kind of uh, uh, related stuffs. Uh, then um, uh, you, you can just simply refer this one because I'm not going to explain each and everything in this one. Uh, because I want to show you something on the simulated ways so that you will get uh, better, a better understanding how this one is functioning on the RF side. Uh, before uh, we get into that, let's talk about, so what are the uh, options available on uh, the product ID side? So we already talked about um, uh, these kind of stuffs in different AP models, so I'm not going to spend more time on this. So as you can see here, AXI, that's the internal, um, internal antenna type. And we have next model that is with uh, external antenna type. Then we have another one for professional uh, installation that is uh, coming with P. And your feed will be like this. And here there is a difference on the uh, naming. Now you will have a regulatory domain replaced here. Uh, in 3800, you see in a different model. This is the another model available from a Cisco side. Basically, this is the uh, embedded wireless controller. Uh, this AP can function as a uh, WLC, uh, like our uh, Mobility Expert solution, we have that called as EWC, will be functioning as a WLC and it will be running the iOS XC code on top of it. So that is the EWC model, uh, means the product ID. And uh, even in uh, external one, you have that option, EWC model. So you have uh, these many different flavors available on uh, 9120. Uh, so after that, uh, the software version and all those things you can refer um, uh, once you get this one. Um, then it talks about the capabilities on uh, all the uh, radio types, as you can see here, 11N, AC, and AX. And you can, you can basically uh, see these features, right? So you can you can decide what you want to do one other thing uh, you have to keep it in mind is uh, in internal and in our side uh, this one also supports that flexible uh, radio assignment so whenever you are using flexible uh, radio assignment uh, this 2.4 gigahertz radio can function with 5 gigahertz it's a standard feature available uh, from 3800 also but here uh, one thing i want to point here is uh, the antenna gain so when you see the dedicated 5 gigahertz radio will have 4 dbi as antenna gain at the same time the flexible radio one will have uh, 5 dbi basically there is a minor difference between these two when you enable uh, uh, flexible or fra fra feature there will be a uh, difference on this one we will we will see that in the simulation side then uh, external antenna type uh, currently we have the 6 dbi antenna and uh, we have another one with uh, 13 dbi antenna gain and this is only supported on uh, p uh, in uh, previous video i talked about the same antenna but i forgot to mention about 3800p model so i was just talking about uh, 3800e uh, with all other antenna types but i forgot to talk about this one but i want to uh, call that out here uh, we have a specific ap model that is 9120 that goes with this 13 uh, 13 uh, dbi antenna uh, that is uh, 2513 p4mn okay so you you keep that in mind we will we will see this one uh, in the simulated way in case of uh, 9120 uh, it can actually work uh, with lower power also the recommendation is to use the uh, 9120 uh, using 802.380, uh, the PoE plus power supply, but it can also function with 
uh, non poe uh, plus uh, power supply also so that chart is already uh, mentioned here i just want to stress on uh, this one so that you will have a proper understanding when we start the next simulation or the operating model view internal ap 9120 axi with poe plus it will draw the power of uh, 25.5 watt and you can see in 2.4 it can function with 4 into 4 mimo in 5 gigahertz it can function with 4 into 4 so basically the full functionality will be working with poe plus with the 25.5 watt uh, power supply when we talk about the uh, lower power levels this is what going to happen so i'm going to talk about only this guy so when you have lesser power that is 13.4 uh, watt or uh, uh, then in that case, you have multiple options. If 9120 internal one is functioning with 13.4 uh, watt, and this is what going to happen. Either it will uh, work like this, one into one plus one into one, or it will work like two into two and nothing on the five gigahertz, and uh, nothing on 2.4 and two into two on the other side on five gigahertz. So this is how it will work with uh, A02.3 AF. With 80, you will get 4 into 4 MIMO, but without 80, it can function. It's not like uh, sometimes you will see radios are not coming up and all those things. So uh, this is not the case for 9120. It can function with lower capabilities. So I just want to stress on that point before we get into the uh, simulation side. And one of the major uh, difference we can talk about here is uh, this power levels. So in uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, we can see normally it will start from here and it will have up to uh, 23 and uh, it will be eight power levels. Uh, here you can see there are some small differences here. In 2.4, it can start with uh, minus four and it can go up to 23. But uh, here you can start with minus one, then it can go up to 26. This is one of the... Um, difference between 3800 and um, uh, this axap it, it's having some extra power level so you can you can keep that in mind then regulated domain um, it's not going to change regulated domain on uh, 3800 or 9120 you you are supposed to work based on the regulated domain right so there will not be uh, any difference between uh, regulated domain from 3800 and uh, this one okay so you can uh, verify that so uh, this is the maximum number of non-overlapping channel availability uh, based on each uh, each uh, radio type. Okay, so these are the basic stuffs. Then uh, you have the data rates, MCS rates, and all those things. You can refer this, and uh, you can understand you know, wh what are the capabilities and all those things. Okay, so let's get into the simulation side. Uh, this is the Akaho project I created for uh, this video, and uh, let's understand the setup here. So first AP, I will um, show you that first AP. Then the first AP is uh, C9120I. Uh, that is with a 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz radio means there is no FRA. So all the access points here in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, I set the power level as 11 uh, dBm because I don't want to confuse anyone. So I set that and uh, this is the first AP. Let me show you the second AP. So second AP is um, IE only, but uh, here I'm going to use the FRA uh, side, the flexible radio side. And uh, this is again, we are having 11 dBm. Uh, then uh, you can see that 5 gigahertz. And I also added that uh, into the uh, AP name so that whenever I'm uh, showing the simulation, there is no confusion, okay? And uh, here I selected the external antenna version. Uh, right now, uh, this external antenna that is coming with this antenna model, that is uh, antenna 2524DWR. Uh, and the last one is uh, 9120P. So this is the AP, and the antenna type is coming with 2513P4M. That's a high-density antenna, and uh, that's the antenna model it can support. Okay, so let's see the uh, difference between these APs. So the first one, I'm going to select the first access point and uh, we'll see the signal strength and everything so as you can see here uh, this is the signal strength on uh, both the radios i'm going to show you only 2.4 so this is the 2.4 coverage then i'm going to give uh, 5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz coverage in the same power level like the 11 uh, dbm covers in 5 gigahertz like this 
by the way this particular uh, floor plan size is too huge to just showcase everything so don't think that this is covering very less or something when you put the proper scale you will get that proper coverage this is only for graphical interpretation i just did this okay so basically uh, this is the uh, same ap in 5 gigahertz you are going to get this coverage and 2.4 you are going to get this coverage in the same power level. So normally we don't recommend to keep the same power level and 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So this is the AP who actually functions with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Let me go to um, 5 gigahertz plus 5, 5 gigahertz kind of scenario. So I selected this AP, but in 2.4, you can see there is nothing uh, getting covered here. In 5 gigahertz, I'm going to change this and you can see the coverage here. So when you say 5 gigahertz, I talked about uh, the antenna gain. Let me show you that antenna gain again. So when we talk about 5 plus 5, the flexible radio side, you can see the 2.4 antenna getting converted into 5 gigahertz is having extra antenna gain. So as you can see here, the antenna gain is 5 dBi as mentioned in the, in the data sheet. So at the same time, we have uh, the original or dedicated 5 gigahertz radio that antenna gain is 1 dbi less so as you can see here it's having 4 dbi as antenna gain so there will be a slight difference minor difference but you have to understand there is something uh, different in these two radios this is really minor uh, difference but there is a difference i just want to highlight that that's why i'm showing it and uh, you can see that difference here so uh, here uh, we have this coverage. When I select the 5 gigahertz, I'm going to uh, switch it off the first one. First radio means the 2.4 converter radio. When I switch it off, you can see that there is a difference. There is a reduction in the coverage, right? I'm going to uh, enable that again. And you can see that little bit more is getting covered. That is because of FRA. If you are planning to enable FRA, do the RF design based on that. Okay. So these are the two things. Both are internal and uh, both are having two different, uh, different type of capabilities. So let me enable both of them and see it. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, this one with 2.4, this is without 2.4, the same power level, everything is same internal AP but uh, the coverage wise it will be different now let's talk about the next antenna as you can see here compared to internal antenna this guy uh, is able to cover more i disabled the first radio now we have only 5 gigahertz on this one and 5 gigahertz on this one uh, dedicated radios and i'm going to show you the difference between internal and external one as you can see here there is a coverage uh, uh, difference between internal and external and external is able to cover uh, more area with the antenna so let me show you this antenna type so basically it's a uh, dual band dipole antenna and these are the antenna types it's the same category then um, antenna will look like this as a standard one you you've seen this before also i I have this covered in a, uh, in a different uh, video. So it's a similar one. And we have three types and we are actually referring to this antenna type DWR. Okay, so uh, this is the antenna we used here and this is the coverage you are going to get it. Now let's see the uh, professional AP, the 9120P model and with the antenna with 13, uh, 13 dBi gain. So this is how uh, it's going to cover. Uh, it's not a small cover, it's kind of a directional antenna. And uh, right now these are the uh, antenna types available in uh, Kahoo to simulate. So I will not be able to show anything else. And uh, these are the two external antenna types available for uh, 9120. Let's get into the setting. As you can see here, we have 13.21 dBi uh, as uh, antenna gain. And that is getting and 13.4 in uh, 5 gigahertz, and that's getting added on uh, EARP, and ultimately you are getting up to 24. That's the reason uh, you are seeing this much area is actually covered with this AP, uh, with this antenna. Okay, so these are the available options on uh, 9120. Uh, this video is becoming too lengthy, and uh, I have a very big topic to cover in the uh, upcoming one. So I will uh, stop it here. This will be the part one uh, video of uh, understanding C9120 AP. We'll continue it in the uh, next part. Thank you for watching.